Welcome and thanks for driving by. My name is Moises Garza and this video is brought to you by WeAreCousins.info. Once again, that is WeAreCousins.info. I recently came across an awesome tool for Ancestry DNA. As you can see the uh, the video, it does look different than the original Ancestry DNA page. As you can see, I have uh, several buttons on the top. It's called Full, uh, full Scan, Resume Summary Scan, Resume Detail Scan. And towards the bottom, you can see another one that says scan, download matches, download ancestor of matches. And here, if you have several tests that you've taken with ancestry, you could actually compare them and then choose a father and child. And this, honestly, I haven't used because I only have one test with them. But in order to get this functionality on ancestry DNA, which honestly makes it way better, this uh, it's called Ancestry DNA Helper, and it's an extension that you could only use with Google Chrome. So, in order to take advantage of this tool and this new added functionality to Ancestry DNA, you need to be using the web. Uh, I'm sorry, the browser Chrome. And to do that, you could just Google Chrome and download and install it, then open it. And once you have a Google Chrome or Chrome installed in your computer. All you have to do is you go to this little tab here, which is Customize and Control Google Chrome. You click on it, you go to Tools, and then you go to Extensions. As you can see, I have a lot of extensions. And then what you do, just go towards the very bottom and click where it says Get More Extensions. And then just type in Ancestry. and click search and then this is the one that you want Ancestry DNA Helper just click on it read the description if you would like to and then just add to Chrome I already did that so I'm not gonna go ahead and do it but go ahead and add it after you do that go to Ancestry DNA click on your DNA homepage and that should give you this functionality. And what you could actually do with it is download all your matches, download ancestors of matches. Also, when you go to your DNA results, you can also see new a new function here, which is search. As you know, um, Ancestry does have a search and search matches, but it only lets you, if you click on it, it says by surname or birth location, which is very limited. This new one, you can actually search by user, also users any test, and then surnames any test, and notes and any test. The users is awesome because you could, uh, let's say, let's say for example, I know about this person and then I can't find them on my matches or other people uh, that I collaborate with. All you do, you just type in their username and you search and it's going to come up here. And so you just click there to see their uh, DNA results. This person has a private, I need to contact them. But for the sakes of this tutorial, I'm just going to show you other functions. For example, my Marroquin. If I search on it, it'll tell me every... It'll pull up every single match that has this last name. And as you can see, there's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And if I could just click on any of them. Well, this one is private. Let me try and find one that's not. That's another thing. A lot of people have not even included DNA results to their tests. And many of them have it private too. For example, this one, and you could just go here, down here, and then Marroquin Tamis. 
but uh, you could explore that also you have this functionality of downloading the ancestors you could just click on it it'll give you a spreadsheet with all the, the last names that are mentioned there I noticed these are not matches but it'll help you also so that's how you use that section now let's go back to our DNA homepage and here in order to for all of this to work you have to do a full scan and let me just warn you the full scan does take many hours so you might want to do it at night leave your computer running what it'll do it open every single um, it'll scan every page of matches which I have 161 and each one contains 50 matches uh, this one it'll scan the 161 pages then it'll go match by match scanning all of them and this, it does take a lot of time if you need to stop the test just press cancel and later on you could just click on this button and it will resume doing the test and um, after that you will be able to download your matches download your ancestors matches and this one for example it will also download as a um, as a spreadsheet and you open it and this one will give you every single match that you've come up with other people but the information is overwhelming for example this one it's over 4,000 uh, matches I'm sorry 41,000 matches so it's a lot of information but I think it's very useful the, but the, the thing that I like the most was on the DNA results the new search functionality that you could actually search by users and uh, hopefully you do get this extension and believe me it's gonna make it easier to find things on your ancestry DNA well have a great day God bless